Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm back for another Life is Strange True Colors video. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be discussing the Steph bonus DLC called Wavelengths for Life is Strange True Colors. If you did not know about this, I discussed it in my last video where we discussed Steph's return and the potential connections to old Life is Strange games we could be getting. So, we're going to discuss this DLC. Yes, there is a bonus DLC coming with the game. Now, as far as I know, this is going to only come with the Deluxe and the Ultimate Edition. So if you do get the regular edition, you will not be able to get this. I wonder if they'll eventually end up selling it separately. That probably will happen. But we're going to discuss everything in this video. So if you do enjoy this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Join about the 40% of people that are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Thank you all for 296k. We're pretty much... At the corner's end of 300k, so I appreciate you guys helping us out there by hitting that subscribe button. And let me know what you guys think of this DLC down below in the comments. So, let's get straight into it. So, if you upgrade to the Deluxe or Ultimate Edition, you will get an all-new story called Wavelengths. Play as Steph in the year before Alex came to Haven Springs. Spin records, host a radio show, and face your future. Plus, get four new Alex outfits inspired by Life is past Life is Strange heroes. So... Here is the exclusive story, Wavelengths, play as Steph in the year before Alex came to Haven Springs in a standalone story set in the iconic Rocky Mountain Record Trader store and KRCT radio station, which is in the game Life is Strange True Colors, so kind of like a, sort of like a prequel DLC we're getting here for this game. Wavelengths also says, step into Steph's booth as an all-new radio show host for KRCT, Haven's best and only radio station. Over four seasons, so an entire year this will be, discover more about Steph's past and her relationships as she makes her mark on the record store and covers its secrets and decides her future. Live on the air, you're the DJ. Choose records for the playlist. Uh, Ad-lib your way through local commercials. And... Help Steph compose an own original song. So all you people that love music probably are going to really love the sound of this. This seems like they're giving the player a lot of lee leeway with these decisions uh, for Steph. Roll the dice. Give D20 power device to callers with problems both serious and mundane. GM a tabletop RPG and reach out to connect with an old friend. Hmm. Likely going to be probably someone from Before the Storm. Could it be Chloe? Could it be... Mikey? I think it's probably going to be one of those two in all likeliness, if we had to take an idea. And Small Town Pride, swipe left or right on Steph's dating app matches and join Steph as she reminisces about formative Pride's past. See the record store change over the seasons as Steph asserts her personality and discover its hidden history and surprising spaces to explore. A room of her own, as it's described. An all-new soundtrack. Hits from Girl in Red, Alt-J, Portugal, The Man, Foils, Haley, Coyote Glue, Marabou State, and more set the tone for Steph's journey, each packing an emotional punch. This content requires the base game Life is Strange to Cars in order to play. The bonus story, Lave Links, will release after Life is Strange True Colors. So... Based on what I have seen and what I know, we might have to wait a couple weeks after the full game releases. Now, I don't know what they're implying by saying it's released after, so does that mean we're going to have to wait a week or two? Is it going to be like right after the game releases? Or are we going to have to wait like a month or two? That we don't know specifically yet. Nothing has been confirmed in regards to that. So... That is all we really know about this, but based on what I've read there, I think this is going to probably be a longer DLC. I mean, I said in the last video roughly two hours. I could be wrong. We're covering an entire year here, so... And based on the lack, you know, the uh, lack, the amount of description they have in this, um, and the fact that it's a little bonus thing, um, I could see two to three hours. I'm hopeful that that's what it'll be. Maybe like something like Captain Spirit, you know, in sort of a way... You know, just that little bonus. It could also be like the Farewell episode where it's just like an hour 30. Hopefully it is a longer one, though. I know True Colors is going to be a pretty long game. You know, even as it is split into chapters. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see on that. But the fact that Steph is getting this bonus content, some of you may want to wait until True Colors is out and all that before you play this. Because this is going to be like a kind of a prequel thing to the actual game. But 
honestly, if it does release like, you know, a couple weeks after True Colors, obviously I'm going to play True Colors. So it'll just be a little fun thing we could do with you guys and uh, play on the channel. But, you know, at least the fact of the matter is Steph gets her own thing. We get to learn the backstory of her. And, you know, it's a little past Life of Strange character we get to have a little fun with in an expansion. So let me know what you guys think down below of... The wavelengths DLC but it's gonna definitely be a setup for the main game so if you did enjoy this video please be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new turn on all post notifications and let me know what you guys think of this wavelengths DLC starring Steph if there is more information or images or gameplay of it we'll let you know but I will have another video discussing some rumors we've gotten recently about life of strange true colors and its potential future so thank you so much again and I'll catch you on the next one Peace and love. Have a great day. I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. I want to have control.